You wouldn't believe me if I told you that one of the largest companies in the USA can increase net income by 240% year over year. And this is not NVIDIA. Make sure you subscribe because today we're going to talk about Amazon and watch till the end because I will show you the fair value of the company. I'll briefly remind you that Amazon is not just about the marketplace where you can buy and sell different things. They also own Twitch, IMDb, Audible, Amazon Fresh, Amazon Pharmacy, Prime Video, Prime Now, and many other things like AWS, which is one of the largest business cloud platforms. Here you can see the screenshot from their latest earnings announcement and it shows you their net income trailing 12 months went from $13 billion to nearly $44 billion, which is up by 240% year over year. Another useful information is that the operating cash flow increased by 75% to $108 billion for the trailing 12 months. When I consider whether I should buy or sell Amazon stock, this is one of the charts that I look at. Basically pay attention to this blue line, which shows you online retail sales. And before COVID, it went up to nearly $700 billion. Then during COVID, it shoot up to nearly $1,000 billion. And after COVID, it went up to nearly $1,400 billion. So it shows you that demand is still there and Amazon isn't likely to stop growing. Another website that I use is Qualtrum and it gives you a nice overview of the main key performance indicators. And in this case, I pay attention to net income and it shows you that over the last 10 years, on average, Amazon managed to grow net income by 74% each year on average. And this is amazing because this is not a startup, this is not a unicorn, but it still gives you a very impressive performance. Now let's switch to Simply Wall Street. And this is another website where you can get a quick estimate of the fair value of the company. And they also show you if there is any risk associated with the company you're trying to research. And apparently in this case, there is nothing, but you still should investigate further just to make sure. By the way, if you would like to get a 14 day free trial, make sure you follow the link down below in the description. If you scroll down, you will see that according to this website, the fair value of the company is $333 per share. So it is undervalued by 47%. Now let's move to Yahoo Finance. And you see that over the last four quarters, they beat their own guidance in each case. And that means that they over deliver and under promise. And the market tends to like that kind of companies. It also shows you that there are over 40 full-time professional analysts and most of them say that it is a strong buy or simply a buy rating on this company. And then you see that their price target is anywhere between $180 and $251. Then you scroll down and you will see that earnings growth over the next five years is about 30% on average each year. And remember this number because once again, we will use a conservative figure to work out the fair value of the company. Now we are going to have a look at Zach's website and it shows you rank number three, which is a hold rating. And I'd like to make sure that it is not number four or number five, which tells you that it is a strong sell. Then we scroll down and we will see earnings per share growth over the next three to five years is about 27%. Now I'm gonna jump to Alpha Spread website and this is another source which tells you an estimate fair value of the company. So at the moment they believe it is overvalued by 26% and this is their base case. If you want to see the best case, it is undervalued by 16%. So it tells you that you have to do your own research and don't use only one website to work out a fair value of the company. If you scroll down, you will see that Amazon's operating cash flow went up by 33% compared to the previous period. And we will use a conservative figure when we will work out the fair value of the company. 
Now I'd like to get your opinion. Would you buy or sell Amazon? And if so, what else would you buy? Let's move to Stock and Log website. And here I'm gonna compare Amazon, which is this blue line, to Google and Microsoft. And I will use price to operating cash flow as the metric because as you can see, over the last 10 years, Amazon was overvalued compared to these two companies. But at the beginning of last year, in 2023, it flipped and Amazon became undervalued. As you can see, it was as low as 16 times price to operating cash flow. Average was 27, median 26, and as high as 46. And the latest is 17. Now we will use this DCF calculator and I will use operating cash flow as the metric. Number of years to project will be number three. Then metric growth rate will be 24, even though you can see that over the last three years it was 22, over the last five years it was 24, and over the last 10 years it was 35. So if we use 24, it is still a conservative number. Shares outstanding growth rate will be 1.3, which is the same. They don't pay any dividends. Price ratio, it says 25, but I'm gonna be conservative and we'll use number 17, which is the latest number Amazon has at the moment. As you can see, the fair value of the company is $246. It means there is 39% upside. And this is my options strategy. If you don't know anything about options, basically I'm bullish. And I made a bet that by December 20, the share price will be between $180 and $190. And there is a 31% chance that I'm gonna be right and I will make some profit. I paid $1,300 and I will make about $600 or 46%. Now I'm gonna quickly show you some technical analysis. At the moment, the share price is above this red line, which is a 200 moving average. So I find it a very strong support line and I decided that it was a good time to add a small portion to my portfolio. Also, you can see this channel trending up so it is somewhere in between this channel and I believe there is a still good chance it's gonna go even further in the next four months. Now I'm going to give you an update to my other option strategies. As you can see, Amazon is my latest one and at the moment I'm making a loss. All my other ones are profitable. So far I'm profitable about $168 in total. And this is a quick overview of my portfolio. I've added more cash, about extra $9,000. And my total portfolio is about 16,700 New Zealand dollars. That's because I'm based in New Zealand. And if you are overseas, that's about 10,000 US dollars. I have to remind you that I'm not a financial advisor and you have to do your own research. But make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to upload another video about the USA stock market secrets and you don't want to miss it. Thank you.